What's up, y'all? So to continue our General Lock versus LSDA adventure, because Annixter was nice enough to send me some samples of some various General Lock brand things. I'll put a link up here in the corner if you haven't seen them. We've already talked about the levers. We've already talked about the knobs. Now it's time to talk about the deadbolts because, you know, sometimes you got to have deadbolts with doorknobs and stuff. And we are also uh, going to be comparing it as we have the other ones because that's what I've sold for years. LSDA, that's what I'm familiar with. It seems kind of light. Maybe we're missing a latch in there. But uh, it's just grade two deadbolts. It's stuff, there's stuff on the shelves that are meant for residential use. Let me point out the grade two, grade three. Normally grade one is the heaviest grade. And normally grade one is, is too heavy for residential, not necessarily too heavy, but too heavy for the most part. You know what I mean? It's just kind of overkill on a lot of interior or exterior residential doors. Uh, so grade two is your next choice. However, with any generic grade two, like this General D160 or like this 220 series, grade two deadbolt from LSDA, there's, there's, there's the thing with the finish, like we talked about with knobs. Trying to use those in a residential setting is hard because literally the only finishes they have available are polished brass, brushed chrome, or uh, satin stainless steel, the 32D. Also, we talked about that during the last one during knobs. So we're going to look at what General Lock has to offer, what LSDA uh, sells as well and uh, and then the difference just like we did with the other stuff we're gonna talk about the differences in them uh, because of course like the residential grade b60 in for instance schlag deadbolt those i think are considered grade two by certain standards uh so uh, but but they don't work well for steel and i see it done all the time like hollow steel doors that you find on businesses or panic rooms this is the big thing this is where you'll see that uh, them putting them in where this type of lock would actually be better compared to a B60N is because a B60N has a smaller diameter than these do. These usually will, will cover up the little holes that are sometimes cut out where they're putting a deadbolt in where there should be a knob. You know, you got those that three o'clock and nine o'clock position, little notch in the B60Ns won't cover that completely. These typically will, sometimes will, sometimes won't. Uh, but we're going to take a look at the two of these single cylinder deadbolts. Talk about what is shown in the catalogs what versus what is normally available. Uh, so let's get started. Another general log versus LSDA, right? We're going to speed this up a little bit because there is not a whole lot. Literally, there's not a whole lot compared to what we haven't already gone over in the knobs about the finishes. I will say they're both available in polished brass. They're both available in 32D. This is available in 26D and 32D. We'll flip over from the General Lock catalog. And it's also available, SFIC, where did, where did it say? If, if you wanna use the best core, you can order it SFIC. But here we have uh, polished brass. Oh, antique brass, look at that, they got antique brass. Uh, and they may have LSDA antique brass, I'm not sure. 26D, 32D. US 3, US 5, so double cylinders, they have it in the catalog. Now, in the catalog doesn't necessarily mean you can call them up and order it, as we found out with LSDA, because they have a lot of stuff in their catalog, but that's not necessarily in stock. 10B for double cylinder. 10B, or 613 finish, for single cylinder. Now, LSDA's option, this is one that have been the thorn in my side for a long time, they have 10BE. We're going to look at the difference in, or we're going to look at the 10BE. The 10BE is like this baked powder coated type finish. Uh, and then SFIC looks like they've got polished brass, 10B, and the 2060 and 32D. So they have a pretty good selection here. They all come Schley QA. They all come with with pretty much the same thing. We don't know, this is made in Taiwan. They weren't labeled on this. I don't know where these are made. We don't know where these are made, but again, it says lifetime mechanical warranty. Pretty nice, pretty nice thing there. So 
Uh, let's go ahead and unwrap them and see how they're boxed. Again, that's pretty important to a locksmith, how things are boxed, because they rattle around. The box is shorter. Shorter, a little bit bigger this way. So, like, like sticks out a little bit more. So, this one's a little taller and, and more this way, and this one's shorter in this way. So, we'll go ahead and take out everything out of the LSDA box. And then just take a look at it. Not a whole lot to this video, but we will look at the differences in them, what comes in them, and uh, how they're available. Get out, get out, get out. All right, separator. This one has a separator too. This one comes with your two different strikes, your adjustable latch, instructions, housing that, uh, this used to be steel, but they made it like aluminum or Zamac, whatever, so. Uh, and then, of course, the, the best thing about grade 2 deadbolts is the ability to easily switch out the cylinder with, you know, if you had like a wiser, if you wanted to make this a wiser, you'd get the wiser, take it out, switch it out, and then sometimes you use this cam. This is that, what that longer one's for. This is called a lazy cam because it moves. Uh, however, it's still not a bad idea to try to reuse the original off the off what comes here this will this will definitely switch out with whatever cylinders so take this out take that out and and don't forget to take uh no you just need this leave the pin leave the pin leave the cap just take this part out and put in the back of where this was so I'm switching that with that make it whatever key you want use an lsda uh gms high security medico asa you know, you can slap an awesome cylinder in here and have a grade two deadbolt pretty quick. This one is, this one is definitely, this one is definitely heavier. And we're gonna look to see why. We have, oh, we've got a cup for this one. We've got a round face plate. If you wanna go round face plate, you would just pop off right here, pop that, that square off and the latch is heavier too. Ooh, we're going to have to pull the scale out here to see the difference in directions, of course. So there's unboxed the general lock back in there. General lock. What's this? Security plate, huh? A black security plate. It looks like a, looks like a Schlage security plate. Almost. So this goes on top of that. Uh, but look, that's a pretty dang thick. Okay, here we go. Uh, I can't do it. Uh, okay, I can I can almost bend it. Strike plate one. Now of course this comes this comes heavy steel also. Same thickness. I uh, can't bend that. But this one comes with the four screws and and uh, has your long three inch right there. And then uh, all over one inch regular screws. I love when locks send me one inch screws instead of little bitty short dinky ones. So uh, this would be technically right compared to this. The same strike right there, but look at look at the difference. Yep. Yep. Ooh, I can't believe I just bent that. Jason, dang it, I got more. Uh, so this would be in place of this, but this is is kind of the same as what this would be except you Except you don't have that. It's, it's just a little bit of different strike plate for sure uh, And and that's a lot of beef. That's that's pretty thick once you add those two together. You'd have to mortise out quite a bit for that to be Security whereas this you would just normally normally mortise it out to kind of a reasonable depth if you're switching out, say, a Schlage deadbolt from yesteryear that already had this, then that would be great. But, I mean, this this can, this could have been thin. Like, they could have made this plate into that. But I guess since they would think that most, I don't know. Uh, this, this is one thing I just noticed on this one. Full thread. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Number eight head, full thread screws. If you had a lower security application and you wanted to just use your your screws, full thread, three inch screws, as you can see, 
are not easy to get your hands on. So I'm impressed as heck about that. They have even longer, even longer screws. Nope, about the same length, one inch. So impressed with, I'm totally impressed by the, by those screws for sure. Let me go get a screwdriver. I forgot my screwdriver. I am back. And the reason I need my screwdriver is to see how this shroud works compared to, to, to the LSDA. Let's keep them on the right side, Jason. So from the outside, they're, they're practically, oh, well, I'm going to say not indistinguishable. This has a, that has a lip. This doesn't. So there you go, there's the difference right there. There's a lip, doesn't have a lip. I feel like these lips attract a little bit of dirt. Uh, and with the LSDA, it goes together with two heavy screws. We see these heavier short machine screws that hold up here. Basically, when you put this on the door, you're putting, you're putting this on. You put this on first, just like that. Tighten the, the two short screws that are in the bag right here into that and then you come along with your latch and your cylinder and run it through and that's normally how you do that once you get that done then this slips over and screws in with a little bit longer screws like that this one uh, is all one deal all one deal straight up screwed in this face doesn't come off let's take this apart and see if the face comes off and then in the end we're going to weigh this because this is considerably considerably heavier deadbolt we're going to look and see why number one this is metal it's a nice metal shroud you could have re-keyed this by the way take your uh say your lock monkey unscrewy tool and unscrew that uh, however if you're using tweezers to unscrew that in your fingertip Maybe easier to unscrew it, or maybe if you're re-keying it on site, maybe easier to take those two screws out and just pull, pull your cylinder out, and then it comes apart. So once again, this is this. It's just made out of a different. It's everything about the general is heavier, including the latch. So. Two and three quarter, two and three eighths, two and three quarter, two and three eighths. Same exact diameter of bolt, same free spinny deal there, but this one's definitely, this one's definitely got some extra weight to it. Uh, with the cylinders, we'll go ahead take that apart real quick because that's really the last thing oh and this came with the dust thing out oh, and then this came with a uh a converter to convert it to drive in y'all know how i feel about drive in bolts i wouldn't necessarily do it unless i had to that doesn't you have to order you have to order a grade three to use that as a drive in so a lot more a little bit i guess flexibility right here because you do have this round versus square you don't have that with the lsda we'll go ahead and take apart the cores real quick this one has uh one two the five pin keyed six or uh it's set for six pins they're both six pin cylinders but this uh, lsda one comes five pin and the general lock comes six pin so that's one difference as well every every everything and again neither one of these are going to have like security pins but we can definitely look at the, the any any and all chamfering nothing nothing there nothing there that's good let's take a peek down here i'm almost 100 percent sure we're not going to have any security pins that is just not a thing for dead bolts like these y'all if you want security pins in them these are sold mostly to locksmith companies and they expect you to put your own security pins in them if you want to do that but no chamfering i'm not going to check there would have been a pin in the first three chambers there so once again we'll come over here and finish this video off looking at the cores pew and the weight of each one 
Get out of there, five pin again. We can key it up to six if we want, but it does not come six. Uh, and uh, unlike the knobs and the levers, we have uh, no chamfering. No chamfering. But a lot of the times, you know, you're going to have replacement uh, replacement cores. If the metal has graphite on it, but the metal actually looks different. This actually looks like metal, the general. And the LSDA looks uh, more like that cheap plated metal. Hmm. Hmm. This. Hold up. Let me take that out of my hand. Let me take. Let me take everything out of my hand. Like that. The that that feels heavier. Feels like it's made out of a different metal. Let's go get the scale, uh, because I can tell you right now, there's no security pins in the LSDA. Unless I think of something else. That's literally it. Best core. The finishes that we talked about. The little edge. Uh, but let's get a scale and see how heavy one weighs versus the other. Okay, before we put it back together, we are going to do a test of small proportions. 27 grams. Twenty nine grams. Wait a minute. The LSDA. Okay. So I thought. I thought the uh, general felt heavier, but in reality, the LSDA does. Huh. All right, as I was reassembling these after weighing the cores, I discovered with the LSDA, you've never had an option to use it on a smaller hole. If you run up on a two inch hole, you have to redrill it. If you run up on anything aside from a two and an eighth inch hole, it has to be redrilled because this is that's permanent. That's that's how this goes on the door, just like that. And you come in with your your bolt. It's through there. Have it sticking out when you put it together. And slide your cylinder through, just like that. So we've already got it tight. This is going to be tight on the door. Then you get this in. Then you kind of have to hold your hold your cylinder just like that. And then you run your two screws in. So while this appears to be through bolted four way through bolted that's kind of a thing is the way it's bolted together having it with extra screws like this appears to be like you've got these really that just holds the shroud so it's honestly not providing any more security having the four bolts because we all know we all know there's one bypass that can be done to get past any any deadbolt and that's uh of course destructively but that's a thing and having these extra four through bolts or these these two don't really do anything it just holds a shroud on so really there's no there's no honest to goodness reason for it to be like that and that's one of the disadvantages is uh with, with that fixed shroud is is if you have a slightly off drilled hole or somebody came along and didn't do didn't do quite a good job installing it. It does have to have kind of the perfect installation style. Let's make sure. Whoop, let's make sure that's screwed in all the way before we give this a go. Okay, so standard LSDA deadbolt. And uh, so what I noticed is when I was starting to put this back together, I was like, oh, you know what? This could be used for a small diameter hole by leaving this off, but. The cylinder is still free and then i was like oh wait maybe you could use one of these screws well when you tighten that screw down it doesn't cover up that so what you could do is get a screw with a bigger head or a washer ah when i was boxing it up look they've got a washer just for what i was just talking about good job y'all that's that's even more impressive so yes you can use it in smaller than two and eight inch holes even use a washer and I guess I guess those of you who have done this have y'all you could use this on a uh, maybe you know you got you got the cylinder tightened down with the screw uh, because it mounts just like just like any other two screw deadbolt there's no there's no mounting hole here so that was interesting now we would put this back over it 
Uh, a lot more heft. Again, we're going to weigh these right at the end just to show you. But I already know the general, even though the LSDA plug won the weight, which weight is, you know, he the heavier duty something is, or the heavier it is, is going to be more resistant to attacks. So stronger metal weighs more typically. And again, huge props. Even though a lot of these are used on metal instant metal door, metal frame, you're not gonna. Uh, you're often when you're putting in a bunch of uh, deadbolts on the reg, you're often not gonna need any of any of this stuff. Like this will be left over. This will be left over. These will be left over, and uh, and then two of those will be left over because you know hole in the frame, hole in the steel frame with concrete. You can't put a stripe plate on. These screws are a little bit heavier diameter than those so that's another thing uh, and again it's definitely heavier i didn't have to do anything like i had to wiggle you have to wiggle the cylinder there to get it to line up this one pretty much goes goes right in uh, so uh, everything about it's heavier that's a definite bonus uh, the one thing i'll mention is they did have it available in double cylinder and single cylinder 613 or dark bronze finish LSDA doesn't. Boo! They have this crappy, this crappy baked on uh, brown. And this ugly, cute brown. Like this baked on color. It's, it's, I don't know why LSDA does not offer 613 in deadbolts. That's always been a weird thing. It's, they're far and few between anyway. It's not often. I got these. I ordered these. I'll just put it this way. I ordered these a long time ago. If it's not Venetian bronze, you are hard pressed to get rid of a 613 deadbolt, even a 613 doorknob. Uh, so there we go. There's your two deadbolts. Clunks, it clunks. It's a little, it's a little smoother. It's a little sleeker, I guess. Except for that sharp, sharp point on that. Take. just feels it feels like it's not as rattly or something it's got kind of a rattly ting ting to it all right general is come on down general lock is a, a pound and seven eighths looks like Oh, huge difference. Huge difference. LSDA. General. Almost two pound deadbolt. LSDA. Well, let's take the keys out of the factory, even though even though it's only one depth. Doesn't add much weight to it. Look at that. A little over inch and a quarter. General lock is definitely almost two pounds there, so big difference especially when you add in your uh well it was, you know the strike plate we talked about the weight difference there let's say we use that 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 and that two pounds boom lsda option is going to be this this and this and this nope not, not this not this not even a pound and a half so I think general wins in that, y'all. They offer more choices, seems like. they uh, It's a heavier, it's a smoother bolt. I don't know. I feel like I've seen those again in the field, and I feel like that shroud maybe gets rusted. Is that a thing? Uh, but anyway, post your thoughts on it. Kind of like, that's the LSDA. I know that's because I didn't tighten it all the way down, but this one just seems, just seems smoother. Even though it's got that lip, everything about it seems a little bit smoother and sleeker so if you have any questions or comments i probably can't answer them but somebody can in the chat thanks for watching y'all have a great one we'll catch you next video we're going padlock everybody's been waiting on it but we're doing the padlock for the next one sometime next week we'll take this guy apart that's right so stay tuned for that thanks again for watching y'all we'll catch you next video